Derrick Henry, who has now switched teams from Tennessee, should have been a Cowboy. And should as much have been as I a hate cow- the Cowboys, oh, you got to play that one. There you go. As much as I, as much as I hate the Cowboys, <laughs> Derrick Henry should have been a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, that would have been the best thing for that offense. But whatever, be that as it may, Derrick Henry is in Baltimore. Um, Pete kind of alluded to that in the AFC Championship, that infamous AFC Championship where the Ravens tried to be something that they weren't, did not run the ball enough. Anyway, Mr. Derrick Henry finished eighth last year in PPR formats. And for everybody who says, well, he, he's old, so he must suck. Well, he was second in rushing yards last year with 1,167. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Anthony, I know you hate ageism as much as I do in fantasy, at least when it's not warranted. What says you on Mr. Derrick Henry being sixth in our rankings? Yeah, you know, I'm all in on Derrick Henry in my ranks, he is my RB6. I, I think a lot of us might have them hovering around there. Uh, not much of a pass catching ceiling or a- anything there. I'm fine with that. That's not what Derrick Henry has ever done in his career. He can catch it, he'll give you a couple, but we're drafting Derrick Henry with the assumption, at least I am, that he has one more special season left. Last year, RB16 in points per game, RB8 overall. He did that on his fewest touches where he played a full season since like 2020. He had 219 carries in 2021 in eight games. Uh, He was conceding touches to Tajay Spears. Probably the worst offensive line he's ever played behind the worst set of skill position players and quarterback he's ever had around him still managed to go just under 1200 uh rushing yards and 12 total and once again another running back tied to the rpo threat in the offense with lamar jackson now i said this earlier lamar jackson I, i was wrong he only rushed for five touchdowns last year they want other guys to be taking that beating they brought Henry in. I believe it's a one-year deal. They're going to try to squeeze everything out of Ju- a Derrick Henry. I, you know, Derrick Henry could have been that missing piece to get them to a Super Bowl. Uh, I have projected Derrick Henry 1,300 yards rushing, 16 touchdowns. Uh, I, I think there's enough there. If he stays healthy, he'll be the focal point in this offense. Uh, possibly, you know, I, I don't even want to say, like, I get they want to pass the ball a little bit more, but if Derrick Henry starts cooking this year, I, I, I can see, again, one more special season. I don't know top three. I think that's a little bit too rich. But can we see Derrick Henry finish as an RB4, RB5 in PPR? Yeah, I, I would make that bet. You know, Steve, we used to hear a lot of you, – you remember the New York Giants back in the day used to hear a lot of thunder and lightning. Mm. The Ravens kind of have that a bit in a way, just they have it with a running back and a quarterback. A little bit of thunder and lightning. What says you, Steve, on uh, Mr. Derrick Henry? Yeah, Jacobs and uh, Tiki. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I mean, Derrick Henry, it's funny. Like, uh, he started his career very slow because he wasn't being utilized. DeMarco Murray was over him, and then even Deion, Deion Lewis was being utilized over him, and then they finally unleashed him. And the guy absolutely went ape shit in the league. And, you know, he, ha- he hasn't been popular in fantasy, and people have doubted him year in and year out because he doesn't catch enough passes. So it's like it, that's why people doubt him. So it's kind of – it kind of pisses me off because, it's like, he's like a true fierce running back that will just fucking plow you over. Um, so I love watching him. I mean, he's an absolute freak, 6'3", 247, where his speed is very, very rare. And he's an anomaly. I mean, he's 30 years old, and th- to produce at this level – is absolutely insane. But his offseason workout program is probably, you know, just as the top with anybody in the league. So, yeah, now he's in a great situation in Baltimore with Lamar. I don't think their offensive line is going to be as good as it was last year. But even if he doesn't get, you know, um, 12, 1300 yards, he still could get 14, 15 touchdowns. Um, you know, so I, you know, I, I think, like Anthony said, this is probably the last really good year or, you know, r- good year we're going to see from Henry. Uh, great situation. And the Ravens just said, screw this. You know, we need to get a running back yeah. that can stay durable mm-hmm. after Dobbins getting hurt, after freaking Gus Edwards and all these different backs they brought in, constantly getting hurt left and right. They want to run the football. Todd Munkin came in last year. He's like, I want to run the football. Um, you know, everybody thinks the past, but he, you know, he said that in an interview. So, 
yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm smashing Henry, man. I, I, I love this guy. He's, he's a Hall of Famer. All right. 